You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? I'm not so into calling it a superpower, but all the rest is true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. (sighs) (laughs) You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Watching contests even work? Who's checking the site? I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. I started dust in daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to... She's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But 
We're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> Let's go with Brian. This Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the... the effort. But we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how, and I don't know why yet, but I will find out. I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super-powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose. They do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. Would they ever speak to me again if they found out what I really do? Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. William Bloom, huh? Yeah, he's the best. Good beer? Yep. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. 
integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah, that's our motto. It... it's a motto. Okay, now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Typhon. Time to find out what Diane is really hiding. Typhon brought me here, and look where it got me. Damn them all. Does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could... It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. Wait. There's something else. I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Ryan, what's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Sounds fun. Ryan knows all about the local flora and fauna of Haven. Ryan, tell her about the flora and fauna. Oh, uh, well, that right there is a Colorado pinion jay. It can hold more than 40 seeds at a time with an expandable esophagus. That is impressive. <laughs> so, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Holy shit, that was epic! To 
totally insane. insane. My heart is pounding. <laughs> Ryan, real talk. I think Diane actually wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. You guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? H how can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Okay, let me grab my hat. There it is. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs>
I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't get to play my first LARP with you. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so... <sighs> sad. Because I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine, too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is kind of exciting. What is that? It's a magic scroll. Okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. him double 
Feynor's next attack. Burning blade. Two damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Ah! Two damage. Ah! I'm still on fire. Untuned cord. <clears throat> One damage. <sighs> Shield of courage. Protected by Shield of Courage. Ah, I'm still on fire. <laughs> Loot. Oh, cool. I learned a magic attack. <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it... How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we... Tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. It's... Cute. Found a scroll? Yeah. Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching you how to throw? Yeah. Sorry. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Oh, what's that about? Looks like you dropped something, Diane. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. What happened here? Fellow survivors, I see. Are you hurt? <laughs> Hardly my first monster attack. I know an escape trick or two. Do you know what this key is for? Belong to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. The amount of detail in this LARP is insane. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy.
Ugh, rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. We're going to have to deal with this, aren't we? Did you see this warning? Yeah. That's a bad situation. Trolls are ruthless. Bye! Godspeed! Godspeed. Check out what I found in that chest. Nice work, Thanor. I feel like there's more stuff to find in the Black Lantern. There was some really interesting stuff in there. You're back! Yes? Wanna tell him about our quest? We're on a quest to end the Age of Monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and guess we'll be meeting a snake. We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. Don't get eaten out there. I feel like there's more stuff to find in the Black Lantern. Got another scroll. Cool. Hey, kid. We're like master scroll seekers. Yup. Could there be something down the alley? Here. Woe is me. Woe is me. <laughs> Some kind of snake? I guess.
Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? I mean, it's kind of cute, isn't it? What are you talking about? An attack. What do you want to do? Ophidian chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Pretend that's a low sound. Snakes' ears are internal, so they can't hear. <laughs> nice. More loot. All right, let's make some ears bleed. Wait, what's that? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. That was so smart of you to use the bell. Shit, that didn't take long. Okay, we handled the river. No one. These are so. Called heroes are the worst. I bet there's something fun in the record store. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Oh, there. Please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what Steph's done to the place. The streets used to be full of people. The Soul Sapphire's right there! For sale! Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... Would you consider giving us that sapphire? For one gold? This isn't a charity. <sighs> we need the sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the age of monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales and I'll give you the sapphire 
in return. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. One down, two to go. I hope the other... So there's definitely a troll at the Eastern Bridge. Three gold, please. What do I want insight about? Holy shit. Too real. I mean, I hope that's true. Yikes. Where to next? No one appreciates. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Oh. Oh. Oh shit! Troll! Incoming! He's got a soul jewel right there. Oh, oh, oh. you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? <clears throat> troll dust. Dusted trolls become very friendly. One pinch per troll. No, no. Don't you dare just... Oh. Oh. Man. Uh. Uh. <laughs> visitors. <laughs> I love visitors. Can I... Can I get you anything? <laughs> uh, a glass of marsh water. Slug chips. How about that jewel? On your belt? Sure. <laughs> Anything else? We're on a quest. Anything you can do to help us out? Hmm. I could teach you fight like me. Hm. There you go. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> I think that's all we need, right? Come visit again. Anytime. <laughs> Only one more jewel left. Getting there. Okay. 
That troll was scary. I admit it. Nothing to admit. It's just facts. Even I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to, um, renew my bar guild membership. Yeah. Okay. Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer, but don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And honestly, it's a nice distraction for me right now. Is everything okay? I found out Nana has been sick. She has Alzheimer's. Oh, wow. Anyway, let's talk about something else. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. He's been a lifesaver. Mac has? Yeah, he really stepped it up for me and Nana. I'm actually glad we're still together. That's good. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. I saw that, like, right before you picked it up. Okay, you can have the credit. No, I don't care. I'm just saying. Too late. 
Credit's yours. Go get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. I feel like there's more stuff to find in the Black Lantern. What happened to the rest of the music? Guess Lawrence is gonna need a new business advisor. Did you see this? That's got to be it! It's one of the jewels! Yep. All right, back to the park. You see, I warned you not to go. Now you- Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. Oh, we read about that in the tavern, right? Tell him! Sorry, we gotta get back to our quest. Oh my god, it's my mom! <laughs> Feynor! The Monster Slayer, you've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria, the Forest Spirit. You have done well on your quest. The Forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? The Sky Sword. It's the Sky Sword of Power! It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics! It's got the pincer, and the same grip, and it's got this part for the jewels! How do they do it? Can I really take it?
promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay. if you please. The prophecy is fulfilled at last. Now Thanos' might is unsurpassed. Take that sword now, and the jewels! Stormrider, the undead! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Give them to me! Worth it.
healing serenade. Shield of courage. A ah. flame. <laughs> You're now on fire. Ugh. Curse this fire. Still burning. Untuned cord. Burning. Healing serenade. Scroll of healing. wasn't your fault at all it wasn't okay it wasn't Charlotte? Back here. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a hero. Mm. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just... 
a lot going on. <sighs> I can imagine getting Ethan ready for his dad, the shop, the spring festival. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. <sighs> Charlotte, I can tell some- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. Alex. He's sweet 
and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then, Kate, I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe. But Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. None of that makes you a bad mom. No matter what you're feeling, you always give Ethan what he needs. That's what matters. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. And I wish I were too. This anger could kill her. And nothing I'm saying is helping. What if I could just take it away? I can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? I can't. I'm sorry, Charlotte. You're strong. You'll get through this. I guess we'll find out. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? Honestly, I think she'd want me to keep what happened just between us. Sorry. Of course. Don't apologize. So please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for... Type in safety. Mac? It's me. I'm working, Gabe. We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. 
You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Smack. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Rhea went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. In mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line. Typhon safety. Mac? It's me. I'm working, Gabe. We can talk about what happened later. This isn't about that. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now. This is about Rhea, but it doesn't tell me where it was. I guess Mac was right to be so paranoid. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Thanks for spilling your guts. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait, they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's 
nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They were burying something. <laughs>